Now, we need to take um, heed from this because some of us will be in affliction for a short while and some of us will be in a long while. Now, no one's going to be saved from an affliction. And if somebody actually goes through an affliction or faces some kind of trouble, the thing not to say is, oh Allah, give me sabr. The thing not to say is, oh Allah, give me sabr. Why? Because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa in his time when there was an individual who said, oh Allah, give me sabr, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam interrupted his dua. He said, oh individual, he said, ask Allah for relief. Don't ask for sabr. Because if you're asking for sabr, if you're saying, oh Allah, give me patience, it means that you want Allah to keep you in the trial. Because you can't be patient unless you're in a trial. So this is from the beautiful wisdom of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So when we're in a situation like that, uh, we don't say, Oh Allah, give me sabr. No. We don't even say, Oh Allah, give me the endurance of carrying on with this sabr. No. We say simply, we say, Oh Allah, we ask you for afiyah. Afiyah means relief. Allahumma inni as'aluka al-afiyah. Oh Allah, I'm asking you for relief. Now afiyah, relief, is a situation where we, we don't want to be in, in this situation. We don't want to, want to be in trial. We want to be completely out of this, free of this, and therefore relieved of the, of the situation. So that's what we ask. Although Allah praises the sabr, He praises the uh, patience of a servant when they're in the trial. So Allah says, remember the time when Ayyub He called on to His Lord. And he was in Rabbi, and he said, he said, according to this uh, part of the Quran, Surah Sa'd, ayah uh, number uh, 41, Masaniya Shaytan binusbi mu'adab. The Shaytan has touched me or afflicted me with pain and punishment. Okay, this is in 41, and in uh, the, the other part of the Quran, in Surah uh, Anbiya, uh, Surah number 21. Ayah number 83, when he called on to his Lord, he said, Masaniya durru wa anta arhamur rahim. Affliction has befallen me while you are the most merciful of those who have mercy. Now let's deal with this ayah in Surah Anbiya first, then we'll come to the other one. What Ayyub is saying is that, Oh Allah, you know, I have got into a situation where I am in total loss. When you are in a situation where you're in, uh, you're, you're always giving and you're always having mercy on others. And you're not only having mercy, you have so much mercy that nobody can ever compete with you in your mercy. So while you have got the greatest of gain, I have got a great loss. And the one who is so lost is calling the one who has got so much gain. So can you see the contrast in, in this beautiful dua? What, what, is actually, you know, what is actually depicted in this is, you see a, a, an individual who is in so much need, so much need of mercy. And he's calling one, the being, Allah Azza wa Jal, who has so much mercy to give. Anta arhamur rahimin. Now, these words, when you use these words to Allah, it's likely that Allah's mercy will shower sooner. Why? Because you're kind of making it sound to Allah, oh Allah, you know, you've got so much mercy, so much mercy that the mercy is encompassing the whole of the world and everyone around. And here I am asking you for a bit of mercy. You know, there's so much for so much, you know, um, uh, so, so, so much sort of um, very intense kind of uh, a beauty in, in these words, an intense kind of, um, you know, a, a closeness in, in these words. Now, ulama have said that if a person is afflicted with ill health, a person is afflicted with ill health, this is a wonderful dua to make. Rabbi, anni masaniya durru wa anta arhamur rahim. Just carry on repeating that. Rabbi, Anni masaniya durru wa anta arhamur rahimin. If you want to find that, again, it's ayah number 83 of surah number 21. So this is specific to do with anyone who's got affliction in their body. Because that's that what, and, and not only body, you can use this for family because he was already afflicted with his family and he was afflicted with losing his wealth and so on. 